Thanks. So we know how to see what folder we're currently in. We know how to see the contents of any folder. Uh, the next question is, well, how do we start moving around in the file system? So there's a command called cd. cd is for change directory. cd is the command that allows you to move from whatever folder you're currently in to another folder. Just like the ls command, it accepts all different kinds of file paths, relative and absolute. So if I wanted to go to the music folder, I can do cd dot slash music. And if I run that command, you'll see my prompt has changed. Now music is displayed here. So again, like I said, this is always telling me where I currently am. So I'm in my home folder inside the music folder. And if I do ls now, I'll just get nothing. Because again, the music folder is empty. ls blank is for the current folder, which in this case is the music folder. If I want to go back up, so again, um, cd dot what does cd dot do? Anyone? So is it going to do nothing at all? Um, so if you run cd dot, nothing changes. Uh, if I do pwd, I'm still in the same place I was in before. Um, again, the dot just refers to the current directory. Does anyone know what cd dot dot does? Probably. So the dot dot command, if dot always refers to my current directory, dot dot refers to the parent of my current directory in this tree structure. So to go back into my home folder, I can do cd dot dot. If I do pwd, we'll see I'm back in my home folder. There's actually a couple of ways I could have gotten back. If I go back into the music folder, uh, I also could do cd slash home slash user. So again, this is using the full app. So this is going to do the exact same thing as cd dot dot in this situation. It's going to take me back to my user folder. I can also, going back into the music folder again, do cd tilde, because tilde always refers to my user folder. So cd tilde, again, exact same thing. I can type. Takes me back to my user folder. Um, what if we want to move back two folders? Good. So let me go to my music folder. So say now I want to move back up two folders. So I'm down here in music. Uh, if I do a dot dot, it'll take me back to here. But to go back to two folders, I want to find a way to take myself back to here, right? So the way we do that is actually dot dot for the parent, then a slash, because we're going to, that's just the delimiter for the next part of the file path, and a second dot dot. And you can do this all day. So dot dot slash dot dot would take me here. If I added another slash dot dot, it would take me all the way back to root. If I added a slash dot dot after that, I'd get an error because there is no place to go past here. Um, so if I do this, oh, fail. Uh, probably because I didn't type in CD first. So if you do CD dot dot slash dot dot, you don't even need that second slash. Uh, this. Trailing slash is almost always optional. It doesn't make any difference whether you include it or not. It's going to do the same thing. So now if I do PWD, well, it took me back up a level. So if I do that again from my music folder, cd dot dot slash dot dot, and now I do PWD, we'll see I'm in the home folder, which is where I would expect it. Questions on the cd command or what it does? Is there a way to move laterally as well? So, like, say you're in music and then you're getting one of the docs. Can you go up and then over? Uh, yes. So, if I wanted to do that, so I'm going to go back to my home folder. So, let's go back into the music folder. So, say now I wanted to go to the documents folder, right? So, I can do dot dot slash. So, dot dot means up one folder and then the name of the folder I want to go into. So, dot dot slash something other than dot dot is always a lateral move, right? So, this is my parent folder followed by whatever folder is currently. Uh, so yeah, that by definition, dot dot slash something is going to be a lateral move as long as this isn't a dot or a dot dot. All right. Um, you can do all kinds of combinations. You can actually do this, which should take me back to, I mean, so I, I something convoluted like this, right? It would take me back exactly where I currently am, right? It's going to say, go up a directory, go into documents, go back up a directory, come back into music. Um, nobody does stuff like that. Um, again, it helps if you type the command in front. 
So nobody does stuff like this, but there are no limits. It's not like the dot dots have to come first. You can do any kind of convoluted file path that you feel like. Um, you would never use stuff like this in real life because someone would say, you're why, why, and not only that, but the next person that comes along and tries to figure out what you're doing is going to have no idea, right? Uh, so, but yes, you can do it. Uh, one of the beauties of Linux is it's super generalized. If a rule exists, it's pretty much true constantly, even in situations where it doesn't even make sense. Which is great, at least you can rely on things, unlike some other operating systems we will name. Um, but it also can lead to interesting convolutions. There are actually contests to do stuff like this, to see how convoluted or obfuscated you can make something and still have it do something. But, I mean, it's, um, it's purely for fun and games, right? No one does it in a before we go into the command, just fun side note fact in case you guys ever get into deeper Linux stuff. Kind of as a riddle, you all have all the information you need to know. Do you guys know what the definition of the slash slope? So how can you always tell if you're in the root directory, if you're at the very top of the tree? There's a property about this location that's unique from every other place in the file system. And it involves dots. So that's kind of it. There actually is a dot dot, uh, but what does it refer to? Yeah. So this is the only place in the file system where two dots means the same thing as one dot. And that is actually how you test for whether or not you're in the root and you start to all the code that underlies this. That's how it knows it's at the top of the file system. When the dot dot operator is equal to the dot operator, you are by definition in the root, and that's the only place it's true. So file that away with random Unix trivia. And you can, I don't know, go to a really nerdy bar night and win sometime. Um, all right.